Uh, just getting out here, working with my friends, seeing what everybody can do. Gets me out of class, out in the sun. It's my favorite class. It gets me outside. Definitely, I'll definitely use the skills I'm learning in the future on my own house, possibly. I think the best thing about this house, which is our sixth house, is the work ethic of the students. Uh, they're very excited to go to work and very little standing around and they find something to do and they seem to um, really enjoy going out and working on it. I think we're hoping to finish it just about a year from now, so the, the spring of 2019. The house is about uh, 1,800 square feet with another 700 square foot bonus room above the garage. Uh, normally we've built smaller homes, 1,500 square feet, three bedroom, two bath, and speaking with and talking to a couple of realtors in the community, they thought that, that we needed some a little bit larger homes, uh, four bedroom, two bath, uh, bigger families, um, just not very many of them available. So. One of the funnest memories is the very first house we built was out behind the old ag shop. We built it in the parking lot and the students had some real buy-in to that home. That was, they thought that was their home, they'd built it. And just before we insulated it, we had a bunch of insulation in its package in the house and they actually spent the night in the house one night, uh, unbeknownst to us. Um, we showed up the next morning to go to in-service and here were all these cars around the house and they had spent the night in that house. Uh, it's one of the funner memories that, uh, that I've had. <laughs> so the idea behind the, the building, uh, building these homes wa came about with Jim Lewis. He was getting some academies together and, and a construction academy is one of the, the bigger ones that they have and so we started that um, about 2000 uh, maybe 2001 and um, the idea behind it is this, the students get um, all the practical application of building a home the framing and electrical and plumbing and roofing and uh, all the hands-on stuff and when it's done the house is put on the market and it's sold for you know, fair market value. Um, there's, you know, there's nothing, we haven't ever had any of the contractors locally that have had a problem with us um, building homes and selling them. And so it's, uh, you know, it's, it's worked out really well for us uh, that we can do that. And, and uh, we've had a lot of support from the community. Um, people around have, have come and helped when we've needed it. And uh, you know, they seem to like it. it was, district's been very supportive of us and allowed us to, to uh, just kind of have at us. They, they bought the lots when we needed them and they've not always been money makers but um, the first few made you know I think made some money and, and it's been a pretty positive pretty positive experience for me and I think the students. These tools that we have for the Academy here in Cary have been donated by Electrical Wholesale in Haley, Idaho, and um, a Boise Klein tool representative. They're all electrician's tools. This is a very nice tool bag. We have wire strippers, we have wire dykes, we have linesman's pliers, and the assorted screwdrivers that you all need to be an electrician, as well as a very nice tool pouch and tool bag. Uh, we're going to be proceeding to help these kids learn how to do electrical and these tools will be a great, great asset. They've also donated um, a very nice meter that will show everybody how to use electricity and test it so we can also be safe. So uh, we want to thank Rick Bradshaw with Electrical Wholesale. And I've been in the construction program since first try of my sophomore year, so about a full year and a half now. Um, being able to get out and just work with my friends and learn new skills that'll help me in my life. Go into the military, then after that get a degree in construction management. That or either uh, get my contractor's license and start my own company.
So we started the house this last fall and then during the winter and the spring we uh, started a shed because we, uh, the lot was super muddy and couldn't get over there. So we started this shed and it was pretty fun to learn building techniques on this. That way we'd be ready for framing and being able to knock out the house a little bit faster. Uh, I've been in construction since the beginning of my sophomore year, so this will be my third and final year in this construction class. Um, one of the biggest takeaways I think I'll get from our construction class is just how useful and uh, useful construction is throughout your life, you know. Whether you're building your house for your family when you get older or just when uh, you get out of going to the real world and you need a job, if you do it here, you already have experience and it'll help you out throughout the rest of your life. Uh, yeah, I definitely recommend this for other students at Cary School. Um, there's a lot you can learn. Um, it's, it's a lot of fun. Um, it's, it's hard work, but you get to be out here with your friends and it's just a good time as well.